Question number 10, Dennis O'Rourke. This question is for the Minister of Transport. Is he concerned about the announcement by Kiwi Rail on 21 December 2016 that it intends to de-electrify the North Island's main trunk railway system? The Honourable no David Bennett. Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Minister of Transport, the decision to move to an all-diesel fleet on the North Island main trunk line was an operational decision made by KiwiRail. KiwiRail made this decision because it believes the shift to a single fleet is the best way to improve reliability and efficiency for its customers and to boost the benefits of rail for New Zealand. Point of order. Point of order, Dennis O'Rourke. The question was whether the minister is concerned right. about that, right. and that should be answered. Well, I think if you'd listen to the answer, the, you could interpret. I'll ask the minister. I'll ask the minister just to answer specifically, is it, in light of his answer, whether he's greatly whether he is concerned. Mr. Speaker, on behalf of the Minister of Transport, this is an operational decision for Kiwi Rail. Point of order. No, order. Order. The, the, order. The, the answer was the same as already given and right. still that's, doesn't answer whether order. there is any concern. Order. That's very observant of the member. <laughs> I did ask the minister whether he wanted to be more specific. It is a question on notice. He has given his answer. I am not responsible for the answer given. It is now over to members to interpret the answer given as to whether he was concerned. The way forward, as I always advise my learned friend Dennis O'Rourke, is to proceed with very incisive supplementary questions. We already the minister and I will. Me. Supplementary question, supplementary. Dennis O'Rourke. How could he not be concerned when he knows that the nation must meet demanding greenhouse gas emission targets in both the short and long terms pursuant to the Paris Agreement. The Honourable David Bennett. Mr Speaker, uh, on behalf of the Minister of Transport, this government is committed to the environment and um, committed to public transport. And, you, and we can see from the investment in public transport of $1.7 billion to the Auckland Rail Network and $485 million to the Wellington Network that we are um, effectively supporting electric trains in our transport spend. Supplementary. Order. <laughs> Order. <laughs> Supplementary question, Dennis O'Rourke. How could he not be concerned when electric loco locomotives, economically capable of full refurbishment, are to be replaced with cheap, Poor quality, energy inefficient right. Chinese diesel locomotives, which will add thousands of tonnes of greenhouse gases as well as other pollutants every year. Right. Order. Order. The Honourable Mr. David Speaker, Bennett. on the behalf of the Minister of Transport, Kiwi Rail um, is encouraging customers to use freight by rail, and that will help reduce carbon emissions but also to provide a reliable service. Even when lo locomotives are doing the ha heavy hauling uh, that are diesel, every tonne of freight moved by rail has 66% fewer emissions than road. Order. Order. I'm having difficulty hearing both the question and the answers. Dennis O'Rourke, supplementary question. Why is he not using the statement of intent process with Kiwi Rail to see that the de-electrification process does not proceed, coupled with more direct Crown investment in the railway system, so that a fully electrified main trunk line can be achieved? That's right. The Honourable David Bennett. Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Minister of Transport, uh, the decision around the North Island Main Trunk Railway line is one for Kiwi Rail, and it is an operational decision that they have made. Point of order. Point of order. 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 I have a point of order first. 
The, point, the question was specifically about why the statement of intent process wasn't being used. It's got nothing to do with it about something that Kiwi Rail's operational decisions were concerned yes, with. Yes, and I agree, but um, I was very tempted to rule the question out because I don't see it has any uh, ministerial responsibility. The Minister of Transport, that question as phrased, should have been addressed to the Minister of State Owned Enterprises. Supplementary, Mr. Supplementary Speaker. Supplementary question, the Honourable Dr. Nick Smith. Uh, could, could the Minister advise the House whether the new locomotives have Chinese sounding names? Order. <laughs> Such, such, a, such a question is not going to help the order of the House. Are there further supplementary? Order. Supplementary question. Supplementary question. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Does he agree with David Bennett, who said in his speech on the Road User Charges Amendment Bill, quote, if it is a diesel train, it is a dirty train? And if so, has he faced vigorous lobbying from the new associate member to keep electric trains on the electrified part of the main trunk line? There are two supplementary questions there. The Minister is welcome to address one or both. <laughs> Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Minister of Transport, I have full faith in my um, associate minister. <laughs> Order. Order. I hope it is a serious one. Oh, it's a very serious one. I just wonder if you could advise. Point of order. I wish you could advise the House on the process when a when a minister actively misleads the House. Order. <laughs> order. order. That is not a helpful point of order. Um, but that did not surprise me. <laughs> Question. Point of order. Point of order. Um, Mr. Speaker. Point of order, Sumer. Point of order. Um, the question was not addressed. I asked if he agreed with a statement from David Bennett and whether he'd faced any lobbying from no, David Bennett. No, the question was very definitely addressed. There were two questions. That was the difficulty. The minister addressed them.